Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and today I have a Goodwill haul. Now, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. But if you are interested in something that you see here, send me an email or leave a comment below and, uh, and we'll talk about it. And uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out new content like this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. I will start with this one right here. Now there is a big piece of tape holding this paper on here. Okay. Very secure. Oh, and more tape. And oh, yep. Beautiful little pedestal. Look at the pedestal. The flowers down there. Now it does have a mark. Oh, this is Lefton. And it is this beautiful cake plate. So pretty. Love the floral design on that. Here is another big item. Now this was a really interesting find. I don't think, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think I have, <laughs> nope, that didn't clear the frog out of my throat. <clears throat> Maybe now, okay. <laughs> so I don't think I have seen a blue glass uh, basket quite shaped like this before. Um, it does have a really pretty, oh, I think there is a mark on the bottom. Let's get a closer look at that. Let's get my little magnifier Oops, out here. Oh, I think that is an F. Yep. So how about that? I think this is Fenton. Right there. Get in close. Yeah. So this is one that I am just not used to seeing that is for sure and wow look at the shape on that and this is nice and thick so very well made well that was fun i don't remember if i saw that it was um a fenton piece while i was at the store or not or i just saw ooh, pretty blue glass basket love it <laughs> which sometimes your brain works that fast when you are at the Goodwill. And there are a lot of other shoppers and you're trying to make sure you're getting all the goodies that you want to get. And this is a two-parter. So here we have this beautiful pair. Now I'm going to say these are candle holders because there is a little, yeah, there's like a little, bit in the bottom that I think, well, I think a candle, I should have a candle over here so I could play around. I'll get, I'll have to get some tapers and some pillars over here. Now this does kind of look older milk glass. Um, like it's got a little bit of that ring of fire to it, but a really pretty little pair. I'm going to say candle holders on that. But, you know, two of these with some little air plants or succulents would be really cute because they have the little swirl of interest there. So those two together as plant holders could be really nice also. Oh, and a bird. So there is the back, here is the front of the bird, that cute little face, and I think that just says made in China on it, but 
Love the birds and the flowers. Always fun to find bird figurines. And I've got this. Um, this was probably like a cruet, probably had a stopper. Got the hobnails on there. And let's see if there's something on the bottom here. Nope, nothing on the bottom. But I'm going to say originally that was probably a cruet with a stopper, but a beautiful little pitcher or vase. Very nice. Can't pass up milk glass hobnail. That's just, that's a classic. And I've got this beautiful, this is a pink little pitcher or, um, well, it's almost a little too large to be a creamer. So I'm going to say that's a pitcher and this is marked, oh, peach petal and it is Grindley, England. So I guess it is, it's kind of a, not really a peach, but not quite a pink. It's a very muted pink, but oh, it's beautiful design, very classic looking. And then here I have a little plate, a um, little pink pastel, um, kind of a larger, like a larger bone plate with that shape. And this is marked, oh, this is Lefton. So pretty design on that, really like that shape. And Trying to find a good spot for that. Okay, last item in this bag. Oh. Look at this pretty basket. Oh, this is nice. And okay, I'm going to take the sticker off because they stuck it right on top of the best part of this basket. And all I could see was part of the part of the head of this, but look at that cute little bird right there. And nice little basket, even the handle is decorated and this is marked Portugal. So hand painted Portugal, uh, but yeah, don't put a sticker on top of the beautiful little bird. I was lucky I saw that one. <laughs> okay, oh my. I don't remember what I was thinking with this one. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I decided it was time to have a beautiful big one of these. Um, this is the very classic milk glass um, grapes and leaves pattern. And this is a very large compote fruit bowl probably more of a fruit bowl on this one. But uh, yeah, that's a beautiful classic design also. Here is another larger piece. And oh, look how beautiful this is. <clears throat> so we have the metal roses as the base. And then you can see we've got the gold of the roses on the inside here. So pretty. What a amazing piece. That would just be gorgeous sitting on your tiny room table or on a buffet. 
And then, okay. Trying to see how they taped this paper onto here. So we can see the picture, but. Okay. The one time they don't use masking tape. <laughs> so I picked up this beautiful print and let me get. They are always sticking things where you just can't see the beauty of it. Okay, so this is an orca print. Look at this. Now this was framed, look how nicely, black, and then we have the coppery um, wood, and then we have the mat, black, second mat, to really accentuate this. So this was very nicely done, although you wouldn't necessarily know it from the way the back is taped on there. But Somebody put a lot of thought into this frame, but this is a copper print. I can tell already that this is an orca coming out of the water and that background is copper. So this is a really special and it is signed, it looks like Ron, maybe Ron Sheldon, but I'm gonna do some investigating on that because wow, this is a beautiful art print and uh, really amazing. And I don't necessarily wanna mess with the back here to see if there's more information or at least not yet. Um, but yeah, this was really spectacular find. Um, so yeah, so that was my uh, Goodwill haul. Couple really large pieces. Um, I don't usually pick up a lot of large pieces unless there is something really interesting. And I thought this one in particular was really, really an amazing piece and uh, definitely worth picking up. Beautiful um, mid-century piece here with this great, uh, maybe even older than that. Again, I'll have to do some, um, try to do some investigating on that to see kind of what era exactly that is from. Um, but yeah, so that was my Goodwill haul. And again, if you're interested in anything you see, um, leave a comment or send me an email and we will talk about it. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.